Hello friends and welcome to PyShine. In this video you will learn how to do socket programming in Python. Our main focus is to send video streams from multiple clients to a single server. The video can be from a file or a live webcam. We will use multiple threads for each client at the server side. Once the video stream is finished, the connection will be closed. The server will show each client video and display its port number. The clients can be computers with Wi-Fi. Welcome to Python learning series. Please share, subscribe and press the bell icon. Alright, let's assume we have a scene information, either in recorded form or from a live camera. We call it scene 1 and client 1 computer with the Wi-Fi display this information. Similarly, another scene 2 information is displayed by the client 2 computer. Now, both these clients know the socket address of the server. Therefore, same client Python code will run on these separate clients to transmit their videos to the server computer. The server computer will accept the socket connections from these clients and display their videos using multi-threading in Python. In this video, we assume that you already know the fundamentals of socket programming in Python. If required, please watch our previous tutorial about basics of socket programming. The link is available in the description below. Alright, from the client-server model, we know that, at the start the server creates socket and listens for any upcoming connections. The client should know the IP address and the port number of the server. Unlike previous tutorial, where a server was transmitting video to a client, in this tutorial, the client will first use OpenCV to get the video frames of a webcam or a movie file. Then, it will serialize the video frame data into the bytes using the pickle module. The struct module is used to pack this data and send to the server. The server will listen for any upcoming connection. In a while loop, we will run a thread only if the client socket is accepted. In this way, each client is assigned a separate thread. In each thread, the video packets are appended to data and then unpacked using the module struct. Then, the pickle module is used to load the frame and display using the OpenCV window. All right. Let's start coding the client.py file. First, we import the essentials like socket, OpenCV, pickle and struct. Then, we will use PyShine as an optional module to put text on frame with transparent box whose opacity and color can be selected. To resize the image, we will use imutils module. Now, we add the option to either select webcam or video file such as mp4. We initialize the client socket as the server IP address is already known so we will enter the address here. You can find the IP address of your server PC by following the instruction video in the description below. Now, we call the connect method on this IP and port number. If the client socket and the video object are valid, then we will start reading the frames and resize each of them. The pickle module will convert the frame into bytes. Then, these bytes are packed as Q format to generate message. After that, the client socket will send this message to the server. If you want to display the frame, uncomment I'm show. We will prefer to display the frames only at the server side. The try and accept are used here to catch any error caused due to unavailability of the video.
Alright, let's go to the server.py file. In addition to previous modules, here we will use the threading module to create threads. Let's initialize the server socket and get its hostname and IP address. After making socket address, we will bind and let the server listen on it. Let's make a function named show client to obtain the client packets and show its video frames. The link to the information about put btex is available in the description below. All right, now we will make a while loop to run the threads. Whenever a new socket connection is accepted, a new thread will be started to call the show client function with its arguments as address and the client socket. Let's start by sending video data. We will send van.mp4 video. We have various videos in this directory. Let's open two PowerShell windows, one for the server and one for the client. As you can see, the server is running the video of the client. The text is displayed as a formatted string with a dark red background. Once the video is finished, the server shows message, client disconnected, and the client shows video finished. Let's change the video to balloons.mp4 and this time we will run one more client with mario.mp4. You can see that, now, two clients are connected to server, each has different port number. As a further work, you can try with more number of clients, also try with webcam, and different computers with Wi-Fi,
That's all for this tutorial. If you have questions, suggestions please comment, share if you like, and subscribe to PyShine. Have a nice day, and see you again.